What's good, YouTube? Had to try a little effect there. <laughs> Marley Craft, Todd Zimmer. We're here. Shout out to the con crew. Shout out to everyone chilling with me. Uh, that little picture right here I got um, at the Marlon Craft show in Chicago. It was the first show of his tour. He went crazy. Uh, I mean, the energy, the love. You know, I got to do the meet and greet. The love for the people at the meet and greet was crazy. Like, everyone's such a huge fan and, like, just respects the message of the man, respects what he's up to, what he's doing, why he's doing it. The whole crowd was going crazy, cheering, chanting. Uh, it got to the point where Marlon got emotional for a second there, too, on stage because we were just all uh, chanting, going crazy. The, like, the love was real. And the only other place I could really describe and compare it to from my personal experience is, going is like, doing the Harry Mack shows because um, I'm on uh harry max team and we you know i was on tour with them and whatever to helping him do visuals and, and do all that for anyone who doesn't know um but so i i see those firsthand how the vibe is how the people interact or think of the artists that they're coming to see and it's just like so much of it relates and connects and i always thought that too in terms of just like how they go about things what they what they stand for like connection uh you know finding yourself um pushing through you know working hard but also understanding what is and isn't important and whatever so uh those similarities were dope to see um because to me th those are the biggest signs of like if an artist is gonna go big and like play stadiums and, and you know really have an impact a true impact it's those you know first first shows it's those uh the the super fans how they feel about it the middle tier fans how they middle tier isn't like time spent fanning over this this artist whoever it may be um or people who are just getting into it i feel like there's just so much love for what he does and i mean he like at the show he was killing it too he earned that applause he earned that um but he's always earned it right with everything that he's been doing um and yeah man so I, we're gonna get into han zimmer i've obviously listened to the album um i went to the show i've seen this performed live uh, but, you know, I, I also don't want to re restrict my first listening experiences of artists that I truly look forward to listening to their music from um, because I do reactions and I need to wait to do my first reaction and whatever because it's better views. Nah, like I want to break shit down because I know about it because I've listened to it um, and because I fuck with it. And then I obviously want to do first time stuff for um just in general, right, for freestyles or, or a new artists that I'm trying to find out more of until they maybe get to the point where, you know, I'm actively waiting on what they're going to drop so I can listen to it and have my own first listen experience, you know, to myself. Um, anyway, this is a long ass intro, but I, fe I felt like there was a lot to talk about with regards to Marlon Craft. Uh, but let's let's get to it. Hans Zimmer, baby. Havoc of Mob Deep producing it. That's huge. That's so huge. You know, it, I mean... He's a New York hip hop, old school hip hop head, right? From New York, grew up there. Um, and just having like a name like that, Havoc from Mob Deep producing your track when you're trying to come up and like you're idolizing these people. Not, you know, maybe not idolizing, but, you know, really look up to, get get inspired by. They're your influences and whatever, and potentially idolizing. I just don't want to put words into Marlon's mouth. Um, it's, you know, it's it's so cool to see, so cool to see, and he's just such a genuine dude, uh, so you love to see it happen to him, but uh, I'm still talking, let's get it. So tough. New York ain't dead. It came back to life in the apocalypse. Ah. I done seen too much by 14 to be an optimist. Round late registrations drop. I learned about consequence. The layers, the layers to that one. First of all, uh, what, what, which one should I, which one should I do first? The con, the consequence bar is nasty because by late registration drop, I learned consequence. I learned so by that time he was growing up 14 year old 14 years old is where I stopped being an optimist that was the first bar crazy right 14 I done seen enough to stop being an optimist by Kanye by Kanye's late registration I learned about consequence you get to the age where you learn about consequences of your actions right that's the sentence is one of the meanings and then late registration with the consequence verse on what fucking song what song on late registration had the consequence verse on it that he's talking about? But that's what he's talking about. 
Uh, also, shouts out to all the con sequences that I'm providing for you in terms of commentary. Um, <laughs> all right, let's get it. Before shit mellowed out, I saw a few Marty Collinses. Compliment, bitch, I got accomplishments. You can't get switched on if you don't got accomplices. Everybody on the fence got pushed the fuck off the shit. You can't get switched on if you don't got accomplices. If you don't got accomplices, if you ain't do shit wrong, people aren't gonna switch from you. Switched on if you don't got accomplices. Everybody on the fence got pushed the fuck off the shit. So brace yourself before you lost the wrist, you little cocky bitch. I make the working man high art. Some round brace yourself before you lost your wrist, bro. Before you lost the wrist, you little cocky bitch. I make the working man high art. Some round me wasn't solid, so I broke gone. Gone with Cameron and Consequence. I had to look it up, sorry. Little cocky bitch, I make the working man high art. Some round me wasn't solid, so I broke down my circle like a pie chart. They only tough on radio. Yeah, that's that I heart when the swag too try hard. That's that he alive mark. They ride waves, I cast sails on the penmanship. Only time I'm overboards listening to that shit. Cas they on waves, they ride waves. I'm casting sails on this penman ship. I can't sales on the penmanship. Only time I'm overboard is listening to that shit. Pirate in the flows, tide rise, you get exposed. Overboard. Pirating their flow. Still on the still on this ship. Fucking uh sail set sail scheme. Pirate in they flows. Tide on, on tidal. What he he said tight. He said something with tide. Let's see what's up. Only time I'm overboard is listening to that shit. Pirate in the flows. Tide rise, you get exposed. Little diamonds in your rose. Say you went to prize and get so cause you read the shit. Homie, I'm the excrement. Stick your little chests and turn a pest to a pessimist. Also, the inflection change here is crazy. And ever, I mean, he he gets you know he every sort of inflection he hits he'll perform live and that's why i fuck with it i think i, I mean i i fuck with that with uh most artists who have do this and, and have the skill like if you're rapping some way on a track and it's like different and obviously you can put effects and, and change it and whatever and make it sound dope but also i do think there's something to say about being able to perform it exactly how it sounds um and maybe you have the eq settings or whatever to send the vocals through that way and then you could still still perform it live but like the energy you convey on a track the the different pitches and like marlon was going everywhere his live energy and it's just electric um but i just remember that from this little switch in inflection it's just like it hits i mean kendrick did that so much eminem did that so much um a lot of people do it but those are you know i'm just picking out the biggest names but yeah homie i'm the excrement stick your little chests and turn a pest to a pessimist i don't care if i'm meant for this is what i'm doing every marriage i seen was toxic me in the game just another yo yeah Ugh. who him i feel like laughing me and the game every marriage i seen is toxic me and the game it's the same thing the game the game doing all this bullshit right the Mar marlon's rapped about that me and the game are just another union, bro. It's just another marriage. There's toxicity involved at all times. Toxic me and the game, just another union. Who him? I feel like laughing. They feel like captions. I feel like passion. What you do for that hood you rep? I feel like asking. I mean like yeah. action. Now you just cashing on a lifestyle that you never live. And you don't hand nothing back. Like it's third down and a shotgun set you in. Who you help? You could be the TikTok star that you are. But when that clock stop, oh boy. This <laughs> that whole scheme was crazy. I wanted to let it play out. When that, t first of all, when th when that TikTok, when the clock stop, you can be the TikTok star that you are, but when it clock stops, TikTok, it stops. Oh boy, you, you done. And then he's talking about uh, you, you making all this money off this culture that you weren't b bred in, you weren't born in, and you're not giving back at all. And then he related it to some sort of shotgun. Back, like it's third down and a shotgun set you in. Who you it's help? Like it's third down and the shotgun set you in. That's some sort of baseball, or no, football, the shotgun pass i don't know the in depths of football so shit on me in the comments you could be the tiktok star that you are but when that clock stop oh boy this the soundtrack to a dark night bitch i'm on simmer america kaka everyone will be a winner america kaka shouts out uh joey badass 
I mean, obviously that phrase is, I, I was just listening to that album by Joey Badass the other day and America, like the KKK within there just, you know, sparked that memory. I think I might be doing, anyway. America, Kaka, everyone will be a winner. It's that feeling like when the train stuck between stops and you pick the wrong car because you think you see a out try to rob me. The wrong car. Cause you think it like come on for my mom when i had north face money don't end up on the wrong side of the hungry <laughs> see how inflection can make a stanza or a phrase or whatever that doesn't rhyme at all right i feel like he in he intentionally there were almost no rhymes in there but the delivery the the pauses the elect like the boom and delivery in those syllables and then just what he's saying makes it fit together so well. North face money don't end up on the wrong side of the hungry. Money and hungry though do rhyme and then but he says it in different inflections so it sounds yeah. yeah. To you live from where the world burns and they don't give a motherfuck but we applaud runner-ups because you'd rather be rich people's assistance than to bet on yourself so even the runner-up all the money's at the top but they don't hear me concentration of wealth monstrous hatred runner-up but even the runner-up like he's up hold up ups because you'd rather be rich people's assistance than to bet on yourself so even the runner-up so even so even the runner-up what is, he, what is he using runner in that context? Right, because obviously runner up, second place. One more time. I'm coming to you live from where the world burns and they don't give a motherfuck. But we applaud runner ups because you'd rather be rich people's assistants than to bet on yourself. So even the runner up. You'd rather be a rich person assistant than do it yourself. So even the runner up. All the money's at the top. But they don't hear me. Concentration of wealth. Monstrous hatred of self. Propagating with cells at all costs to the state of health. Thoughts have decayed as well. Trains of thought out of order. We lost the way to ourselves. Take a good look at you like. With DNA, you got locked away in yourselves. Slave owners is doing life in your bloodstream. How you gonna come clean if you ain't seeing the dirt up under your nails? Act like we asked for too much. Your reality's a dumb dream, so don't love me. With a flavor of the month, bitch, I'm a staple. I starve before I take a seat at your fable table. If they uh, I'll starve before I sit, take a seat at your fable table, your fake ass table. Yeah, man, y'all just c coming through now? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm a staple. I'm a staple. I've been doing the same thing. I'll keep doing the same thing. And it don't matter when y'all come, come up to me because I don't care. <laughs> Come on, Marlon, talk your shit, bro. the month, bitch, I'm a staple. I starve for I take a seat at your fable table. If they ain't able, they label. If they can't label, they hate you. I respond like, why, thank you. Grateful. Don't think because I'm trying to go blue and free that I won't come for your bread. Make your fans. Come on. Love that. Love that. Another another Harry Mack connection. Anyone who's seen the uh, overtime, uh, the overtime sway video. Um... Dude, there's nothing you could do to me. I'll still get bread if you was gluten free. Similar, similar vibes to those bars. These two bars. Grateful. Don't think cause I'm trying to go gluten free that I won't come for your bread. Make your fans my fans and straight come for your head. They get intimidated. I get to be who I really am for this comfort I bled. So you gonna respect. This the soundtrack to a dark night, bitch. I'm Hans Zimmer. That part hit live too. Hans, right? He's just letting it soak in. It goes side the beat, like fades out. Boom, coming in. Come on, that shit's so hard. Hans Zimmer. America, Kaka, everyone will be a winner. This that feeling like when the train stuck between stops and you pick the wrong car because you think you see a eye. Try to rob me from my merm when I had North Face money. Don't end up on the wrong side of the hungry. Great album. Great fucking album. While we're here, check it out, bro. Come on. If you haven't. And, and you know, if I know economy's tough, but um, the, the center, you know, help, help support the man. Help support the man. He's doing well. He's selling tickets. He's, you know, and, and all that shit. And, but... 
you know, he's doing what he's doing because of the support. Um, but only if you can, obviously. Only if you can. Come on. Uh, Marlon Craft, man, I really fuck with him uh, just as a human being. Um, and I always wish the best. The album is crazy. I know he already has another. I mean, I know as in I have no idea, but I know just from who he is that he has another one probably cooking up, if not a mixtape, if not some sort of little EP. I feel like he's just the type of guy that doesn't stop because he just wants to do this. He knows why he's doing this um, and just wants to spend as much time he can doing this right so you know he has more shit cooking up and you know i'm sure he's announced it and i missed it on announcements but he's on tour it's tough to get shit done on tour um but you also live a lot on tour you have a lot of experiences uh so i I know i know he has something cooking up he has to um anyway we out peace